Welcome back guys, we're just out and about, it's a lovely Sunday afternoon and we've just passed a handful of EV chargers, fast chargers. So these are the ones that you get in the supermarkets, Primark, those sorts of places. So I think it's worth doing a quick video on these and explaining how they work and what sort will fit your car. So let's go and have a look. So just before we get started, it's probably worth knowing the difference between a fast charger and your home charger. So your home chargers work on AC current and the fast chargers are fast chargers because they work on DC current, which is direct current. Now, where an AC charger is slow, or the reason for it being slow, is because what it needs to do technically is convert AC current into DC current. So the charger is actually on board in your car. So what happens is when you plug in at home, your EV charger will send the current to the car and within your car is the actual charger and that converts the AC current to DC current and that goes directly into the battery. And that's why it's limited to how much it can take and you have such things as charging rates and so forth. Whereas a fast charger, which is DC current, can connect straight to the battery. So instead of going through the converting process, what it does, it goes directly to the battery. So it actually can dump a lot more in there and a lot faster. And that's the basics of it really. So let's go and have a look at a few examples. So guys, the most important thing when you're looking at your rapid charger is this figure here. So this is 175 kilowatts. And that basically means that the charging rate, the highest speed we can get is 175. So depending where you go, it may differ. You may have some that are 50, some that are 350, some even go up to 500. So it's important to check what the maximum rate is initially. So we have actually got a separate video which goes into a lot more detail around kilowatts and kilowatt hours. Now let's compare this to a petrol car, this would be the easiest way to do it. So let's start with the basic. The basic is one kilowatt equals 1000 watts or vice versa. 1000 watts you would simply say 1 kilowatt and your car battery instead of litres so your typical petrol or diesel engine we can say it holds x amount of litres with a car battery we say it's kilowatt hours so for example you could say my car's got a 20 kilowatt hour battery and what that means it can basically produce or give you 20 kilowatts per hour well, that's the power it can give you for one hour it's as simple as it gets but we'll dive into what 20 kilowatts could mean in terms of range and miles on another video but for now that's as simple as it gets right so normally when you pull up you'll have two options so you'll have this side which is called the chadamo now, I'm not going to talk about this too much because a lot of cars don't use this. The majority of cars is going to use this one, which is the combined charging system. And let's have a look, quick look at the plug. So you can see, first of all, it's different to your home charger because how meaty the cable is. And second, you can see these pins. So at home, this will be a bit more full 
So this is basically a CP, which is your communication pilot. So that communicates with the car. This one is your PP, which is your proximity pilot. And that lets the car know or lets the charger know that the car is present. That is your earth. Now at home, you'll have more, you'll have live, neutral, and for a free phase, you'll have a few more pins there as well. On the fast chargers, you have these, and you have this, which is your DC charger. And what happens with this, these two plug directly into your battery. And that's how the fast charge is delivered. So what this is guys, this is the actual charger itself. Instead of what we spoke about earlier, where the charger sits in your car and then converts the AC current from your home charger to DC into your battery, this is the actual DC charger itself. And you can see the size of it, and that's why it charges so quick. Now on average, it does depend on your car but you have the 80% rule and the 10% rule. So you shouldn't let your car battery drop below 10% and let it fill up above 80. So the average car, and it will vary depending on the car, will take around 25 to 30 minutes to fill from 10% to 80%. And what will happen, the car will charge, will slow down the rate of charge. And that's basically to protect the battery. So what could happen? It could take you half hour to charge from 10% to 80. And then it could take you an additional 30 minutes to charge from 80 to 100%. So usually these are just good for charging for a very, very short term. So this is quite easy to use. So you can see it has the instructions there. So you can simply plug in, lift it, plug into your car, and then you can tap on here, or there's an app you can download and that'll activate it. And then once you're finished, there'll be a stop button, you'll press that, you'll take it out, and that's it, you're done. Now again, most of the fast chargers, even though they vary, we're in a shell garage right now, have the same method. So they normally have an app, or you can pay by card. So it is quite simple to use. Fast chargers sound great, and they are, but there is a caveat to this. Where they are so powerful, and they can dump a lot of power into the battery, there is a detriment to this, because they produce a lot of heat, they can put a lot of pressure on the battery and it can start to deteriorate. And that's the basically, that's the reason why you have the 10% rule and the 80% rule, where it slows the battery down, the charge rate down to protect the battery. They are great, but they're there for long journeys or emergencies. So it's not recommended generally to use them all the time. Like I said, it can deteriorate your battery over a long period. The best way to charge your car is at home using your AC charger. So just something to be aware of to prolong the life of your car and the battery. Thank you for watching. If you've got any more questions around fast charging or AC charging, please do get in contact and I'll see you in the next video.